All right, let's talk Will Anderson. Will Anderson, a guy who many are even saying could potentially be worth a first overall pick, although obviously we all know uh, he won't be selected first overall. The Panthers are going quarterback. But many people are saying maybe he could be the first player who isn't the quarterback off of the board. So huge hype around Will Anderson. Does he live up to the hype? I don't know. I actually don't think he does, although I'm not going to say that he's a bad player. I still think he's still very good and worth a top 10 pick, but maybe he's gotten a bit overhyped in certain areas. Why do I say this? Well, let's get into it. Let's talk about what I, you know, my, my nitpicks I have, because they are nitpicks, my nitpicks I have along with what he does very well. So first, let's look at his uh, PFF grades, which again, I, I feel like I have to always preface this every time I you know, talk about this stuff. I know PFF grades are you know, not everyone's favorite thing, but they do a great job at, uh, you know, Players who have high PFF grades at the edge position tend to hit at the NFL level. There's a huge correlation. It works really well. Players with bad PFF grades uh, at the edge position in college tend to be bad NFL players. That's just how it works. So, uh, you know, for him, what were his grades? Well, actually a bit weird. I mean, you look at the left side of the screen in 2020 in 83.6, which is not ideal. I mean, for a guy who we're talking about as a potential elite player, you'd really want kind of a 90 grade, which he had in 2021. I mean, okay, technically he was just below it at 89.8, but I'm going to consider that a 90 grade. It rounds up to 90. So the fact that he basically was a 90 overall player, uh, you know, in 2021, that's what you want. Those guys pretty much always hit at the NFL level. But the fact that it wasn't that way last year, in albeit less snaps, is maybe not a massive concern, but I don't think not a concern either. Now, again, you look over at the right, he does everything well. I mean, there's no hole in his game. The one thing you look at was kind of a low run stop rate, but I'm willing to consider that to be more of luck than anything else, given his high run defense grade. Uh, also, you know, great pass rush grade, great uh, true pass set pass rush grade, and great pass rush win rate. So again, everything is good, but we know he's good. No one's arguing if he's good or not. The question is, is he good or is he an incredible blue chip prospect? Well, let's watch his film, and there's no denying there's some great stuff on film. Again, he's a player I like as a prospect, and this is going to be a good example of what he does well, where he's going to be going, you know, uh, it's going to be a running play to the offense's right, but he's unblocked on this play, which is what you do a lot of times, is you leave an edge rusher who's on the other side of the field unblocked, because you can't block everyone, right? You have to, at a certain point, leave someone unblocked. So let's leave the guy who is furthest away from this play unblocked. Technically, on this play, the offense could block everyone at the line if they wanted to, but they want to, uh, you know, uh, they want to move someone up to the next level. So, you know, uh, it's, it's what they're doing here is they wanted to potentially have a guy for uh, safety. Anyway, watch what's going to happen with Anderson here. I mean, watch him just read this play immediately and completely blow it up. I mean, that is just not what they wanted to have happen there. Anderson, uh, you know, listen, could that have been a quarterback keeper and then he could have gotten in trouble? Perhaps a little bit, but I think he guesses right enough that I'm willing to say he's not just guessing. I think he actually does read these plays well and is just a smart enough player to notice when this is happening. That's what I think. I don't know. Maybe he does a little bit of guessing too, but at the end of the day, if you're consistently making these types of plays, uh, it's exciting and it's definitely something that he can bring to the table because while we all talk about pass rush stuff, run defense, you know, is arguably just as important, and he is very good at that as well. Also, stuff like this, I mean, you do see, you know, uh, this is a good example of what he can, uh, just a good example in general of you know, kind of, you know, good and bad, I would say, where you have a guard who's going to be moving towards the left because you have a blitzing linebacker who's going to kind of force him in that area. Then Anderson can roll around. Uh, he can go in between the left guard and the center. Hopefully, there's a straight shot for him to get to the quarterback. That's the way this play is designed to work on paper. However, when this play begins, you're going to see right here, there is, you know, it worked relatively well, but the guard, I think, is doing a pretty good job, about as good of a job as you can expect him to do of getting back. And I would say he does a pretty good job of pushing Anderson out of the way, but Anderson still created a pressure there. So even though I would say that that was, you know, maybe not a dominant win, and again, this is where maybe I'm just giving him too hard of a time and having too hard of expectations for him, because, like, I don't see Aiden Hutchinson, I don't see Kayvon Thibodeau when I watch his tape, but, you know, if it was last year, I probably still would put him at like my edge rusher number three in that scenario. And one thing I like about him that I, I honestly, to be honest, I was 
uh, underwhelmed by a lot of the edge rushers in this draft class. But one of the things I like about him is, to me, he feels like the best technician in this class. He feels like the guy who can use his hands the best. There's a lot of good athletes, but he feels like the complete package in terms of actually knows how to use his hands to win. Like, watch what happens here, where, you know, okay, so starts the contact, a little bit of an advantage with the tackle he go, he's going up against, not realizing that Anderson was going to be going up one-on-one -on -one against him. That's just, you know, uh, that, an unfortunate scenario. But still, uh, you know, unfortunate scenario for the tackle is an advantage for Anderson. But still, watch what Anderson's going to do with his hands here. And watch how he, he currently has his right arm on the tackle's kind of left, uh, you know, pec area. That's where he has it. And he's going to just pull, pull the jersey, and watch what he does. Watch him pull him, get him completely out of position. And the, unfortunately, the ball was thrown before he could, he could get a pressure, but he would have gotten a pressure there. That's a win, certainly, by him. And those are the things I look for. You know, again, a lot of luck comes into if you actually get a sack or not. But he won, again, relatively, I would say, very consistently. One, again, nitpick, like I said, I have some nitpicks on his tape. That's really all I can say negative about him. This is one of them. I saw him take some plays off. I did. Which, like, listen, you know, defensive lineman, it's a physically demanding task. I don't, exp you know, I, I get it. I certainly don't call anyone lazy for taking a play off. Sometimes you legitimately just don't have the energy to go. But, like, this is an example. Watch what he's going to do. Watch how it's going to be a run to the offense's left. And you see him, I mean, he he starts jogging at a certain point, which is unfortunate because he eventually got into the play and tried to make a tackle, which he then missed. I mean, he he gave up on a play that he was he ended up being needed for. And I have to imagine, uh, you know, Al Alabama, when they were watching tape, they saw that and they said something to him, which is part of the benefit of drafting a guy who went to some you know a great program is you know that they kind of are used to being around good, smart people. And you can trust that, Yes, there are negatives that you're going to see on tape, but Alabama probably saw those negatives and brought it up with Will Anderson. So while there's nitpicks, there's also good things with him. So really, I think the tape is very good. I think the numbers are maybe not elite, but good. Uh, so that's kind of how I feel about him is he's maybe not the, you know, top tier caliber, uh, you know, he's not a Bosa, right? He's just not, that's not him as a prospect, but I think he's still a very good prospect and, uh, you know, feels like a pretty high floor guy. I, I have a hard time seeing him completely missing as a prospect. In fact, I, you know, he feels one of the more, like one of the more safer bets out there. Um, you know, again, uh, some of, just some of the nitpicks I have, there are times when he gets blocked out of the way. There are times when he will have quiet games and kind of, you know, not seemingly have a huge impact at points. Again, that's part of it is, uh, teams were aware of him, right? Once you're that guy, teams know who you are and teams prepare accordingly. He can play a little small at times, which is weird because he's, he's listed at 6'4", 240. I mean, he's not a not a small guy, but I guess that's a little bit smaller for an edge rusher. Usually they're around 250, so not massively, but a little bit. Maybe that's a negative, you could argue. But again, he's so explosive. Uh, you know, he can play on the inside or as an edge, so he has some versatility. Only 21 years old and still has some really good numbers behind him. And, you know, again... If two years ago was really who he is, then he's, to me, I'm, I'm saying yes, absolutely. Because I thought his tape was better two years ago than last year as well, which is another just odd thing about him. He's a bit of an odd prospect, but I think a very good one and one that I would not uh, have a massive issue with uh, drafting very high in the draft. But he is not my favorite uh, non-quarterback in this draft class. He just isn't. I like him a lot. Again, he's a, he's a guy who I think definitely you could spend a top 10 pick on and have no issue with it. If you, if the Cardinals drafted him third overall, I'd be like, okay, sure. Like I wouldn't be mad at it necessarily, but there's just a couple of things that maybe, um, just, I don't know, a couple of nitpicks I have in an otherwise very good player. That's not an exciting YouTube video, right? It's not, this was not the best, uh, one that you probably just watched. You want to hear me either say he is awesome and going to be a superstar or he's sucks and is going to be the next bust but that's just you know again I, I have to give my evaluation on it and unfortunately I think he's slightly below what other people say but still very good uh you know that that you know, I don't think I can put that in all caps on the title I don't think people are that interested in that or maybe I could I don't know but you know at the end of the day uh you know I gotta gotta say what I think about these players so yeah that's what I think about Will Anderson what do you guys think let me know in the comments below always love hearing from y'all and of course as always thanks for watching